All right, guys. Uh, welcome again to a new episode. This is my server cloud. The today we're gonna talk about Escaligro, a little application you can run in Docker to create simple graphics. Uh, we use it for uh, for charts and creating infrastructure. You know, uh, draw so we can actually know exactly what we do. Uh, you know. Technically, we don't do um, tutorials anymore, but we like now to post on the channel uh, ideas what we use on our daily basis application to run the my server cloud. So anyway, without any delay, uh, we are running on Proxmox. We're running a copy of Ubuntu where we got Docker and Portana installed. There are, let's say, a couple of ways to do it. You could just use the image like that, just copy and paste in... Uh, let's say on your uh, command line, but we're going to use it on Portana. So technically, let's go to the uh, dashboard. We've got containers already running, by the way. Yeah, we already got Excali through. Let's uh, run it. Let's start it. It should be already wrapped and running. Let's go to Excali through. Let's go to duplicate edit. So you can actually see what we're doing um i think we can find that actually in stack uh where are we here we go scully drew editor and this is what we're actually running we got this one from the um github if we go to uh for example the uh doc compose uh yaml file we get most of the information on this page okay from here and the actual image can be taken from this page here all right so again all information in the description below okay um i'm gonna see if i can try to add this in uh on my gist on github so you can actually go and copy it to make it easy so once you've done it all you got to do is go stack you uh, add the stack name the stack and again you paste the code i just showed you a e this one here okay once you're done you update the stack and one has been deployed just leave it for a while and should be up and running all you got to do just click on the port and it should be as you can see up and running we're already playing around with it. let's say delete this you can uh, technically add anything you want um again you if you were actually highlight that you can change it the stroke style the stroke width for example the color you can have a background any color you want again you can actually uh, give each color a keyboard key you know or you can have a shift for example and the number letters whatever you want All right so let's go on this one here so you can actually see here like, those are letters right those are shift and the numbers you can actually add the X code as well. The sloppiness, the uh, edges as you want it, all right? The opacity, the layers. And again, you can actually add text as well if you want. You can actually add image, okay? And again, you also have uh, AI tools, frame tools, web event, laser pointers, text to diagram. You know, there's a lot of things you could do, right? And you can actually create a wireframe to code as well. This is quite nice. And again, guys, it's free, open source, and you can run it on your local machine. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, don't forget, like, subscribe if you want to, if you like it. Don't forget to share it to, with your friends, uh, colleagues. And thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you next time.